there are three types of thermodynamic systems in an open system both matter and energy get exchanged with the surroundings so for example in this pan some vapors and gases may get exchanged with the surroundings and the pan is receiving energy from the surroundings in a closed system only energy gets exchanged with the surroundings so for example in this closed pan the pan is receiving energy from the surroundings but there is no matter exchange with the surroundings in a isolated system there is no energy or matter exchange with the surroundings so we have example of a thermos flask here here there is no energy exchange with the surroundings there is no heat lost or gain from the surroundings and there is no matter exchange with the surroundings isolated systems are idealistic concepts and may not be found in real life uh, situations however these are useful in understanding some thermodynamic concepts the definition of the system depends upon how we define the boundary and this boundary may be real or imaginary so for example in this first case we have drawn the boundary around the kettle and in this case the kettle is an open system because it is exchanging matter and energy with the surroundings and the surroundings happen to be the atmosphere and the stove here in the second example we have drawn a boundary around the kettle and the steam leaving the kettle in the atmosphere so in this case there is no matter exchange with the atmosphere because the atmosphere is a part of the system whereas there is energy exchange with the surroundings in this third case the stove is also included as a part of the boundary so now within this system we have the atmosphere the stove which is the heat source and the kettle and these together form an isolated system earth is an example of closed system the matter on earth is fixed and there is no exchange of matter with the surroundings whereas earth receives heat from the sun and also gives out terrestrial radiation so there is energy exchange happening with the surroundings so if we consider earth as a system earth is a closed system